Hey guys, it's Hef. I am back again with another comparison video. This is part two of my pinks comparison, because that's what Angela asked for next, was pinks. So that is what I am doing. I have a duo, a trio, a quad, and a group of five that all look very, very similar. So let's get into this particular video. First up, I will do the duo um, this one here is from Saturn, looks kind of nasty in the bottle, this is actually almost brand new. Um, Saturn is a like super duper budget brand, um, on Cosmetic Capital, it's like $1.79 a bottle, like super duper cheap. And it's actually not a bad nail polish, I have to say, it's not super stinky or anything like that. It doesn't have a name, although I think if you go on Saturn's website, or certain places you can actually find out what name this number here is supposed to be but I don't know what it is um, I think I looked them up but then I can't remember what they are and I'm comparing it to this Maybelline Color Show in whoops, uh, Coral Crush so you can see they're both corally pinks So I will start with the satin one. Oop. Kind of a thin formula, but pretty good coverage on the first coat. Oops, sorry guys, that was a wobble. Um, and Coral Crush from Maybelline Color Show. Uh, a first impression is that it has more um, brightness to it. It's, yeah, like a lighter, brighter version um, on the first coat. So the trio we have from Ultra 3 Strawberry Sunday. This is from the advent calendar for last year. I'm going to compare it to, it is actually a bit lighter but I'm going to compare it anyway, to Pinkalicious from Maybelline Color Show and Presto Pink. focus camera. Presto Pink from Sally Hansen's Insta Dry line. And I whacked. <laughs> I whacked it. So, Strawberry Sunday. If I get the lid off. Strawberry Sunday is like Barbie pink. <laughs> it's like a Barbie in a nail polish. And pink Alicious from Maybelline Color Show. Instantaneously, it is a much, much brighter Barbie pink. They're both Barbie pink, but pink delicious is much brighter, a bit darker. And Presto Pink from Sally Hansen Insta Dry, which have the most awesome brushes ever, is much more pigmented and darker. So they're like sisters. They're certainly not twins, but they're like sisters, those three. So the next four are going to make my camera have an absolute fit, I'll warn you now. <laughs> we have four basically neon polishes. So the first one is called Look At Me from MUD, or MUD. I refer to them as mud, but I think it's supposed to be M-U-D. <laughs> we 
have Fruit Tingle from Ultra 3. We have what is referred to as Seasonal Nail Enamel 4 from Saturn. And we have It's Pink from W7. So as I said, these are all neon pinks and super duper bright. So first of all, look at me, which is a great name for a colour of this bright. This on first coat makes me think that it would benefit from an undie. Ultra 3's Fruit Tingle. is, if anything, brighter and slightly more purple than the MUD. Satin's polish is like slightly more red in colour. Um, they're certainly not the same as the other two. It's darker for a start. And it's pink, which is one of my favourite neon polishes, even though I'm trying to use it up. But I figure if I use it up, I can go and buy a full size bottle because <laughs> this is only a mini. Um, I, I would definitely buy a full size bottle of this because it is just. The neon value in this is substantially higher than in the other three. Like it makes the other three look like normal pinks. And that is one coat without an undie. That's why I love that one so much. It's just freaking awesome. <laughs> oh, I could just sit here and look at it all day. <laughs> okay, so the next five... There are actually two from the same brand. So we have from Maybelline Color Show this one which is called Vivid Rose. We have Peach Daiquiri from Essence. We have Pink Shock from Maybelline Color Show's um, Color Show as well. We have this one which is called Wonder from Natio. I actually have two bottles of this because of the fact that um, the first bottle I got of this, the lid actually broke and they sent me a brand new bottle. <laughs> and this is Fuchsia from Lacura Beauty which is sold at Audi's sometimes. And so I will start with the Vivid Rose from Maybelline Color Show. This has an almost crelly formula to it. from Essie got this in a bell box or something uh, this is kind of darker on the first coat it's actually got a way better formula than virtually every other Essie that I own so that's nice uh, that was one really nice coat uh, Pink Shock from Maybelline Color Show. This has a bit more purple, like a purpley pink, and is pretty sheer. It's almost a jelly. Vivid Rose is like almost a crelly. This one is almost a jelly in comparison. Uh, Wonder from Natio. Uh, 
is much more opaque. Um, it's actually fairly close, just a bit brighter than peach daiquiri. A slightly brighter version of peach daiquiri. And fuchsia from Lacura. Has a touch more purple. Again, it's actually not hugely different to um, Wonder. They're pretty similar. Um, the Maybelline colour show in the middle looks out of place, but it is so much sheerer than the others. Whereas the other th four actually are. They seem to be a bit more similar. Alright, so let's go back around. Try not to stick our fingers in any polishes. So the satin nail polish in was it number thirty-three? Looks a lot more like Coral Crush from Maybelline on that second coat. But then when we put a second coat of Maybelline on, you know, probably look completely different. So Coral Crush is a, on the second coat, is a lighter version of the uh, satin polish. This is sort of uh, deeper, this looks like it's got a bit more white in it, and it's a bit brighter. They're pretty similar though. I've got, to, I've got to be honest, they are pretty similar. They make a really interesting um, gradient, I think, between the two of them. So, Strawberry Sunday from Ultra 3. And then Pink Alicious from Maybelline Color Show. So the Maybelline Color Show is definitely darker than Fruit um, than Strawberry Sunday. And Presto Pink from. Sally Hansen Insta Dry, which really probably doesn't need the second coat, but in all honesty, they are very similar. That's the Maybelline, that's the Sally Hansen. They are pretty similar. This one is ever so slightly brighter, the Maybelline's ever so slightly brighter, but they are. Very, very similar polishes. So there you go. <laughs> so the MUD in Look at Me gets a lot more neon on the second coat. But still, really, I think it's one of those ones that's going to pop a lot more if you put a super white undie under it. I mean, these wheels are sort of white-ish, which helps a little bit. But that does make it um, a lot more like It's Pink, that second coat. Brought it a lot closer to It's Pink. Fruit Tingle from Ultra 3. Uh, 
that was a fairly heavy duty second coat. But it does bring, again, it brings it closer to um, its pink. It's more in the same colour vein as in its pink. But it's pinker than, um, look at me. It's like a, it's almost got a slight purple tinge to it, but it is much, in person, it's much brighter than the look at me. Um, much closer in colour to its pink. The satin in seasonal nail and number, number four. Which, while in the bottle, looks quite neon on the nail. It's just, it doesn't, it's not neon. <laughs> on the nail, it is not neon enough. <laughs> so. And second coat of It's Pink from W7, which frankly is the best name ever for this colour because it is just so pink. There's <laughs> literally no other way of putting it. Just that second coat, just wham. It's super duper bright. <laughs> so those are the four um, neons. In terms of which ones I would go for, definitely it's pink if you want a bright in your face, doesn't need a white undie neon pink. And the Fruit Tingle from Ultra 3 is also pretty good, which is that one there. So either this one or this one, the, the satin one is fine for a cheapy polish, but it's not neon really. And the MUD is okay, it's just not anywhere near as good as Fruit Tingle or It's Pink in terms of colour. So onto the last grouping. Vivid Rose from Maybelline Colour Show. The extra coat brings it much closer in colour to Peach Daiquiri. Although it is patchy. Should fix up the patch. So that one there is Vivid Rose. Then we have Peach Daiquiri, which as I said is probably the best formula on an Essie that I actually have. They are very similar. <laughs> When you build up Vivid Rose, it is it is very similar. Peach Daiquiri might be a touch brighter. But to the naked eye, I think you would struggle <laughs> to know which one was which. They are super similar. Uh, Pink Shock from Maybelline Color Show. Yeah, this is not going to build up the same way as the others. You probably need three or four coats and you're probably still going to have visible nail line. Although the colour is quite similar, it is more of a jelly formula. It doesn't have the opacity particularly of peach daiquiri. Um, and it's slightly, like it's brighter, um, which is probably more to do with the fact that it is sheerer than anything else. Yeah, it's, it's not often that I will say I would choose the Essie over the others, but of those three there, I would definitely pick the Essie. So, Natio's Wonder. Is... Seriously, those four, it, well, the, if you take out the um, pink shock out of the middle, we have three so far that are virtually identical colours. <laughs> it really would come down to formula. And the last one is Fuchsia from Lacura Beauty. It is not the same colour. It is... It's more kind of pink. I mean, they probably look super duper similar, but it's almost 
Yeah, it's more pink. The other three have kind of got an almost red lean to them. But Natio Wonder, Pink Daiquiri, a uh, Peach Daiquiri from Essie, and Vivid Rose from Maybelline Color Show are virtually identical colors. Um, and particularly Wonder and Peach Daiquiri, these two here. So Wonder from Natio and Peach Daiquiri from Essie. Um, the price on both of these is actually pretty similar in Australia. I'm pretty sure. Um, so it would come down to whether you wanted to support the Australian company or the not Australian company if you're in Australia. You probably can't get Natio outside of Australia, or not easily anyway. So obviously if you're outside of Australia and you like this colour, then I would go, you won't hear me say this kind of thing very often, I would go for Peach Daiquiri if you want a colour like that, because it's actually, the formula is fabulous, um, and the colour is great, the coverage was fantastic. So yeah, those ones are all very, very similar, even this, even though this one is a lot sheerer, colour wise it is very, very similar, so those, those I have five polishes in my collection that are all pretty much the same colour. So that is it for part two of my pink comparison video. If you want to subscribe, click down there, click the little, not little notification bell so that you get notified of when I upload. Leave me a thumbs up if you like nail polish type videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in part three.